awesome coming together. Like, not only is it amazing that so many countries get to participate in this event, and we're seeing so many countries that beforehand we didn't even, like, know how to see. So it's great to see that so many people turned out. And on top of that, um... Uh... Lavingi joining the team of Finland. Like, he never would do that in the past. So it's like another, like, oh man, this is actually awesome. This is such a Very cool true. step forward for Europe. But it's, de it's definitely one of those one of those uh, countries that, as we said, like, did not have all of their best players uh, gathered together at one tournament. But Finland did th this time. Yes, Finland did. And so did England, actually. <laughs> <laughs> <They co> <laughs> okay, finally, they have both <laughs> different colors. That was fun. <laughs> Raul is the red, is the red one, whereas Connie, Connie Zedash is a ZH is a white one. To be fair, I do not know Connie, but he's starting pretty strong against Raul. Yeah. Oh, okay, good web dash down. Ooh. That, was, that was very aggressive. <laughs> In my, hind, my mind, I was like, okay, he's in the middle, he's gonna hold space, he's gonna... And he just immediately charges in against Raul. Oh, nice people. Okay, Ooh, another up air. Nair, ooh, the weak one, as we said earlier. And for me, nothing after it. Okay, good call. Yep. I get a lot of confidence in Foxes when they, um, when they let opponents just hit the ground. And they don't, like, try and force another hit. They're like, nope, I can react to, the, to their tech option or I can react to their lack of... Oh <laughs> All of those recovery from Red Fox, honestly, and those smash and stuff like that, he doesn't, he doesn't want to die. Unfortunately, uh, for Connie, he made an amazing recovery also, but mm -hmm. still managed to lose his stock in the end, uh, which is a bit sad. But what a recovery from Raul, honestly. Yeah, this is very close. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 With that all to death! Good wow. call right there! That was like a perfect acknowledgement of percents as well. Oh, it's also one of the players that people tend to forget because he did not travel a lot back then. But uh, he's one of the guys that worked uh, behind Polon Software also. Mm -hmm. So he did not participate to all the big uh, the, the, the big Polon tournament, obviously. So some people forgot about him. But he's, he's one of the best players in France currently. One of the best Fox for sure. So. Yeah, I mean he's I'm, showing it. Exactly. Again, like nice way. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad to see them reacting to like tech options, Very or at true. least do it doing moves that aren't just too soon. Okay, taking his distance. Uh sad for Cody was just a bit late, unfortunately. Oof. Okay, not enough. Just Good quite DI, yet. Good DI by Cody. He went, yeah, he went for the ledge a little, like, one too many times in Raul. I, that, that time. Mm, uh, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. He did that too many times. I love the patience. Just holding oh. the center stage. Really paid off for him. For Raul. Actually, yeah, that spacing was really good. All that, those uh, uh, dash, uh, dash forward, uh, with dash back and stuff like that. But now the take chase option for me did not reach him. See, Ooh. okay. Very Let's strong start. Smash. Very strong start by Raul. He's he's telling me you no. You should, why are you down the French? <laughs> <laughs> You're taking off, <laughs> flying away. Even, <laughs> even even Leva told us uh, t told me like stop it, just stop, just please. Stop. <laughs> so, okay, this is a commentary. Okay. You're just showing off. <laughs> but okay, three stocks to three stocks. No, two stocks. He took two stocks to Raul, which is pretty good. And uh, as I said, I never heard, I, I don't know Connie, actually. I know the other players from Switzerland, but I don't know Connie. Yeah. And, you, and usually, you don't send one of your best players in the, in the first round. So it looks pretty good for Switzerland, actually, even if they lose the first game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar with Connie either. But I, th there were things he was doing. Like, I thought it was interesting. The very first thing I saw him do was like, oh, this is a good chance to hold center stage. He was immediately aggressive out of the gate, which really worked for him. But I think as Ryle sort of got a feel for the ca kind of player he was, that kind of aggressive, just go get him mentality 
didn't seem to help him as the game went on. Like Raul was very good at holding a space and keeping up his defensive game while also being on top of his punish. So. <laughs> The thing is, like, you often feel, when you play against Raul, you feel like he's an offensive fox. Mm. But in, actually, no, not that much. He's, he's super good at, as you said, just keeping the center, pushing your, the opponent off, uh, like off stage, stuff like that. But he's really good at, when he got an opening, he's going in. And he's not letting, him, yes. letting you go at any point in time. So, obviously, you think at some point, like, he's pretty offensive fox because you feel the pressure. But mm -hmm. when he got the lead... He will wait. He will keep his center and just wait for you exactly. to make a mistakes. Yeah. And I think like that's like a it's easy to kind of group people as offensive and defensive. But the reality is there's so many different like game states of melee. Like when you're in advantage and when you're not, and in what kind of advantage you're in and what you're not. Like people are often quite offensive and defensive differently in whatever situation they're in. And I think we saw that Ryle there was. He was able to, when he, at the very least, when he noticed he was in a very good position, why would you leave that position just to apply pressure that you're already applying by being in this safe, good spot? Very so, true. Yeah. But that aside, so it's already the battle of the captain. Oh. It's already captain the battle here. of the captain. This, these are the big guns. Switzerland, they've brought out the biggest guns they have on Raul. Which I assume means that Switzerland wants to lose, like, maybe one stock tops. Mm. Going in when someone's in, again, when in at three stocks and you send in your best player, I think the idea there is you want to take all the stocks. Because obviously, yeah. like, when it's a 4v4, sorry, when it's four stocks to four stocks, Getting a four stock in this game is generally uncommon anyway. You usually your opponent takes a stock. So you don't necessarily want to send your best ones right now. But I feel also like uh uh Raul is definitely our best fox in the in the crew, I think. Mm. Uh like for sure. I, I just noted the fact that Charlon is with Falcon. They decided to pick Falcon for the crew. I don't know. But yeah, so oh. it's definitely how best how best oh. fox. So yeah, you, you won't send the big guns at him, like right away with Jaredin. Just stop him from just throwing apart the Swiss crew. Mm. Shalom playing Falcon is incredibly interesting. Okay, I think they're ready to go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So we'll see. It's actually three stocks for Raul, so he only lose one. The uh, thing is like, so as I said earlier, Raul is used to play against uh, against Sir for instance, so the floaty matchup, he knows it. He's ready to not like fall down onto the Luigi trap, but we all know that Jaredin is not those kind of Luigi. He's a Luigi that if he grabs you, like that for instance, can kill you right away. Because you won't, you won't flee away from that Luigi, you won't be able to. But importantly, one mistake, ledge dash, up smash, and ready yep. for 5 stock from Raul. Yep. This is this is what I what I'm looking to see from Raul because the way he's approaching neutral, I'm very pleased with. I'm like you're doing this amazingly. You're you're recognizing when you can be aggressive, when you can't. You're you're acknowledging that it's just like it's cruise. I just need to take. I just need to do percent with lasers, keeping the defense up, doing my good defensive maneuvers. Um, but when he gets hit by Luigi and Luigi starts his nonsense on you, you need to not panic, and that's what I'm looking for. What happens when Luigi gets an opening? Especially the opening from Jaredin, because he's insane with those. Yes. It's more okay, but right now... I... Mm. Okay, like this one, for instance, those kind of opening, those kind of three down smash in a row, and for it missed afterward. That was a good call, anyway. Mm. I need to respect the Nair also, the big hitbox of the Nair from the Luigi. <gasps> what was that web dash back on the forward tilt? Oh my god! <laughs> that was an what insane was call out. Beautifully spaced. Yeah, that that micro spacing was just insane, actually. Yeah. Honestly, any further back, Luigi could have retreated. Oh, oh what? Well, the knowledge. That's the prof. <laughs> Does that really work? Like you try your side B yeah. after a shine too. That's yeah, sh shine if there are a high enough percent. Shine side B and then you can combo into an, into an upper. Okay, At least he gets ice climbers. I assume the slipperiness applies to both. Okay. 
The thing is, like, any stock from Jar Radiant matters. Because as it is the best player from Switzerland, you definitely want to take uh, those stocks away as fast as possible. Because if Raul dies afterwards, Jar Radiant will definitely be able to take even more stocks than the next player that will come out. Yeah. Yeah. And when, um, in, in, the, in the roundup chat, Maya was saying that the a big a big chance he could see France struggling is if Yar came up against him as he was the least confident oh! against Yar. Ooh, invisible ceiling. Here we are. Doesn't really work very well against Luigi. He's so slippery that the down throw can just send him halfway across the stage, as you saw. Mm. Okay, good call. Nice juggle. We have the side in for him to not Missed land on the platform. platform. Uh. <gasps> Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay, good take. I like that he didn't go for the grab. That felt like the panic option was just, oh, grab him. Mm, wow. Good call. That was a really? Performance. Yeah. But great call by Jay Raiden. Like, I, I love, like, you said about it, like, uh, the fact that you were looking forward to see the panic moment about the, 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 the fox. And I feel like that last stock, that pressure, like, uh, was definitely yeah. a bit of those messy moments yeah. where Raul was uh, taking some distance, some distance, sorry, throwing a laser and suddenly web dashing forward tilt. Like, ooh. Yeah. But on the flip side, like, we saw that exact scene play out, but he was ready for the forward tilt and punished him hard for it. So it was like, maybe, maybe that was his plan again. Like, maybe just that time he didn't quite space it right. Because punishing wave dash, like, as, as someone who plays a wave dash heavy character, like a very long wave dash character, it's hard to get a feel for exactly what wave dash links that your opponent's using because oftentimes, unless you have, you know, an amazing, unless you're on a box or on like amazing controller, it's a little dependent on whatever your opponent's used to. <laughs> mm. You never play the Luigi that uses their max length wave dash, then suddenly all your muscle memory that's used to dealing with how your Luigi wave dashes, it's not relevant because like they can go further. Your spacing is now off. That's actually very true. Yeah. That's very true. That's that's all the problem with the Luigi. You never know when you are in the reach or not. You, you never know. You just never yeah. know there. That's incredible. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's why the, 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 the spacing of Ra Raul was so crisp. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, like, avoiding that 4 tail was just insane. Yeah. That was incredible. That was such a good performance from Raul. I'm incredibly yeah. impressed. And that couldn't have been what Switzerland wanted. Because mm. now it's just like, it feels like they can send out a strong player next. Um, like, hypothetically, it's interesting that charlotte has gone Falcon. That, that, that surprises me. Because I would have thought the play next was, ah, we've seen Charlotte do very well against Yoriden in the past with his Marth. Send him out. Finish the socks. Your Raiden's gone. Mm. And I think they'd be even at that point. And they'd, be, they'd be up, right? That was... Uh, I think we... Uh, Raoul's the first French player. Raoul? Raoul, yeah. He just lost... So French are now... They should be at 16 stocks with yeah. uh, Switzerland at... 14. 14. Yeah. Quick so, math. Uh, oh, 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 quick math. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it's only, it's only two stocks. That's cool. That's cool uh, for, for Switzerland. Definitely not that much behind but i um, yeah i'm really looking right. forward to see who they're gonna send because i feel like mm, against luigi you might want to send as you said a marv so maybe maye but i feel like maye struggled a bit against luigi and those weird characters so that might be yeah. might not be the 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 best id but even then you can still do it uh backson will be afraid to face a luigi yep. uh, see, <laughs> i don't know if he will be able to play or not um, uh, but uh, actually, that's gonna be the player that you were looking for, because that's gonna be Charlon. That's what I was hoping. And whether it be Falcon, I'm kind of hoping it's not a Falcon. Uh, let's see. Actually, I I'm looking forward to it. I I'm not sure they will. He will be played uh, mm -hmm. Falcon, but you never know. You never, you know. never know. And I did. I said the same thing when I first saw him pick Marth against Luigi. I was like, oh, he's. Like, oh, he's a fox main. This, this is like a him just not really, like, accepting defeat or, like, being like, ah, eh, Louis, like, oh, fox, fox, Louis is too hard. But no, it was like, oh, no, you actually have an amazing moth. <laughs> actually, Charlon played a lot. He, he plays a lot of co different characters. Mm -hmm. he, play, he, he already played Falcon in tournament for sure. But he Sorry. also already played Luigi in tournament. 
Oh. He already picked Luigi. So he knows Luigi. He played him. Sure. Not as much as Jaredin, obviously, but he still knows him. He's, he still yeah. had, ha, has knowledge about the character. And those things are really important at the end of the day. Yeah. Because when we see we see them, like, there, there were instances. It didn't happen too much, which I was happy to see. But, like, when Jaredin started his punish and started that pressure... He wasn't, a lot of the time, it wasn't actually true combos he was getting. He was just falling into advantage. And then Ryle would like immediately, as soon as he was actionable, just roll. But yeah, Ryan was ready for it. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm covering all these options. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Whereas he maybe could have shined or whatever. Um, but when you know Luigi and you have that experience, you understand his pressure more. You understand what he's looking for and what he's used to seeing other players do. Yeah, you're ready for it. I, I agree. Yeah. And as a piece of, of uh, information, so Charlon is not picking up Falcon, okay. but is picking up Fox. At least it seems during the warm up, I've seen a Fox. I've okay. seen a Fox, so okay. I suppose that this will be the Fox. That's a fair assumption. That's a fair assumption. And I think, like, at the end of the day, when I did watch uh, Charlon Fox versus Jaraiden's Luigi, whilst Luigi, uh, whilst Jaraiden would win, it was always close. Hmm. Um, it, it was Makes the moth sense. that beat him, but the, the fox always, always did well. I feel like Jaredin got only two stocks now, so I think he's pretty confident in the fact that he will beat him. But, yes. And I think overall, even if his morph can be good against uh, Luigi, I suppose his morph is not on point in many different matchups. Yep. So I think he'd rather stay fox yeah. for the rest. The, 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 I assume the logic being, if I take two of your item stocks and lose two with moth, then those two moth stocks might not be as valuable as... Exactly. Two fox stocks left, or even, or even if he had three fo- moth stocks left, uh, moth stocks left, those stocks might not be as valuable as only two fox ones. Very true. Very true. Yeah. When you played like loads of characters, there's like a extra level of like thinking you have to do that many others mm-hmm. don't. But we'll see. We'll see we will what's see. gonna happen. I'm looking forward to it because at at any point in time, at any point in time, Jaredin is is just. Finishing up the four stack of uh, Shadow. That can happen. It could happen. Yeah. But we'll be going on Dreamland this time. And that's a huge thing. <laughs> if you want to play the, the, the patient game, the defensive game, you can do it for sure and just move around. You c- that's true. That's true. My brain immediately went to how did these characters kill? And then I was thinking, well, Luigi can often get lots of gimps, which isn't helped by Dreamland, whereas Fox often has to kill off the top, which is hurt by Dreamland. But obviously, with the amount of space he has to move around, I imagine that would benefit him a lot. Mm. Interesting. But uh, that aside, just for letting you know, so they just, they actually, so they started to play. So I'm going to, I think, give you some insight of what is happening right now. So as we say, we're on Dreamland. Right now, Shalom is playing a, a well-known defensive game, as we say. It's just like moving around all of the platform to avoid any uh, Luigi interaction, to be fair. But it's trapped at the corner right now. Might be dangerous because Jaraiden can't catch this jump, find a fair, and take the first stock. So Jaraiden, only 65% took the first stock from Shalom already. So that can be tough. But once again, Shalom trying to be a bit too much aggressive. And finally, if you're too much aggressive, you fall into the trap of uh, of Jaredin, of Luigi. And he took 70% because of it. And as I said, Jaredin is pretty in a... In, in, is he, he is in a good spot to just take back all of those stocks, actually, and beat up Shalom. Especially with that opening. Shalom is off stage right now. Okay, he came back. That's tough. Up throw, down air from, uh, from uh, Jaredin once again. Shalom is once again off stage. Fortunately, we are on Dreamland, so we can survive for a very long time. It's already at 149%. Completed trap right there. Finding, a sh- <laughs> finding an opening that did not manage to convert it for a kill in the Shalom side. But finally, running down, up smash, take the stocks. Jaredin on his last stock, but Shalom 149%, as I said. Finding a shine, trying to trap in on the edge, did not work that time. Fighting for the center right now, kind of a neutral game plan. Shalom defensively, throw a lot of lasers, but jumped. Jaredin read it, find a stock. Two stocks uh, already lost to Shalom. So two stocks won. And we got the feed! 
We can see. Got the I can see. You can see. I can see now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're back at it. Nice. Love to see it. Uh oh. Oh, don't smash, up smash, don't smash, like seriously? That hurt, man, that hurt. Ooh. Oh! Okay. Interesting choice of shine. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, let's just up smash. Not enough. That's Dreamland for oh. you. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Shut up! Oh! Okay. What an SD. That's so sad. That's so sad. That is, that is a bit heartbreaking, but, but, he'll hold it together, hold it together. <laughs> Fortunately, he held it together, he still won yeah. the game, but yeah, one stock, one stock. As I said, Jaredin could have definitely taken the for the wall four stock from Charlon, honestly. Yeah. When you, when you looked at the, at the game that you might have not seen, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 I, I you like, have a chance to paint this narrative how you want. <laughs> no, but I, sh definitely, Jaiden could have could have won this. Yeah, I mean, by the end of it, it was like there were there were just a lot of mistakes from Charlon that it just they just looked they looked avoidable for someone of his caliber. It looked avoidable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But like he felt under a lot of pressure. He used a lot of same tricks over and over, and Jarrading was just like catching those. Like as I said at the beginning, he was just jumping around the platform, you know, moving around and stuff like that. So it was jumping, going at, into the corner, jumping on the platform, top platform, blah blah blah. And at yep. some point, Jarrading was just like, "Yeah, I know you're gonna jump." So he jumped with him, fared him, and just killed him. Like, take that, Fox. Stop yep. that. But France is still up. Yeah, one stock. Answer a stock up, and Switzerland's best player is gone. True. So the 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 like that's that's no that's not, I can't imagine that's what Switzerland wanted. If if they're going to be down, they want to be down, but have your riding ready. Mm. The thing is, like as you said, like many of the of the players from Switzerland are a threat now. They weren't back in the day, but today they are. And yeah. if I'm not mistaken, they got like Allen, for instance, we which he's a Falco. Uh, Ravio, Nero, definitely uh, improved a lot also. Maybe China is a new player, so I'm not sure it will be uh, maybe not picked up right away for the for the crew, but you never know. Uh, especially because also Made in China played a lot with the French crew. So uh, I think they know him, so they will be ready for him. That's true, that's so. true. But we'll see because that's the thing. Like all, we, all, all the the the, the French-speaking country sometimes play together in some tournament, mm -hmm. will interact at least with each other. So yeah. I know they they know they know them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, interesting though. And I talking, who send. Uh, and that's gonna be Alain talking about Alain or Alain. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm pronoun pronouncing pronouncing it. The, the French way, <laughs> even if he's not in the in the in the French in French speaking part of uh, of Switzerland, uh, Alain is a very great Falco. You'll see. Excited too. I'm excited too. Oh yeah. But the thing is, like setting up Alain in a one stock situation against Charlon, even if he took that, if he take that stock, okay, the the one mm. from Charlon, yeah, he will be, I think, hard. Counterpicked by Orbaxon or Maye right away. Yeah, and that's tough. Yep. There's a. Is there a ban? What do you mean for stage can... for yeah. stage peak? I recall hearing there was, but we did. Ready? I recall being there is. Um, don't know. I truly don't. Know. I'm not sure. Uh, the th the fact that we have seen today while we were playing a Mar Fox on FD makes me think maybe otherwise. But mm. I think that, that that's an important question for, um, for 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 the prospect of sending in a fresh Falco when when a Marth can counter pick you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. Actually. That's very true. Yeah, I was also looking forward to see if there there were uh, a ban or not. But that aside, tiny warm up, tiny, sorry, warm up, obviously, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Afterwards, when it will feel ready, I think they will restart for sure. 
But yeah, when you when you take a look at the at the at the at the, at the French crew, uh, the thing is like you know they're good, but you don't know about the about the Swiss crew, and that's the thing. Like the surprise might be just waiting, you know, in the dark of all the names in Switzerland. Yeah, and that's like another reason why I'm so glad that we've we've approached the crew battle so that there's so many games. Like, cause we're doing like the pool format and then it's going for bracket. So we'll actually get to see everyone play. So then when we move into like the next rounds, we'll have an idea of who we're watching and it'll be, I think it'll make it a little more exciting. Okay. Both of them are ready. Shalom going in right away. That's the, yep. that's the Shalom classic. Going for the attack. <laughs> there he got <laughs> no time to lose. He will go for it. And he's still betting percent. Ooh. Somehow it's still working. And he got already 95% uh, dealt to the Falco. Good call there. Yeah, that was a very, a very aggressive start. And it wasn't even like a lot of it was just, it just felt the pressure exhuming from Shalom was scary enough that it was just making Alan feel a bit like shaky oh no. okay I get at least got hit in the in the in the reverse way that dash attack he found it that was one of the hits you needed to avoid as a Falco main at that person so Shalom took another stop which is huge in that uh in that uh crew format but if he can stop the bleeding which it looks like he can yes. yeah it will yes yeah fortunately it did but that, that's so sad to think about the fact that that could have been avoided, that star class yeah. from Switzerland. Yeah, like they were they were both kind of scrapping at each other. Mm. It, it, it seemed pretty ambiguous who was going to take it first. Mm. But I wonder if it changes um, France's counter pick at all. Because three stocks is still, it's still a chunky amount of stocks. Yeah, you know? that's true. We're still likely like to see the heavy counter pick of like a Mar FD or a... Mm. The, the thing is, like, if there is one character against who France is confident, it's Falco. Like, if, yes. there, if there is one, it is Falco, none, none others. Like, 100%. If you look at the French team, the, like, the, the choices of characters they gave, it was possible that we'd see a, a French team with five Falcos on it. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And, and the thing is like <laughs> the thing is like even Charlon and the Poilon got their own Falco so they can pick and yeah. just throw at the at the opponent at the opponent. So yeah, 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 we got a lot of Falcos. It's a Falco heavy region. Mm. You like your Falcos. Exactly. So yeah, that's not a matchup that um put us in an afraid situation, if that if that makes sense. So we'll see who yeah. they're gonna send. Or Baxon or Maye, I think. Why Baxon? Because Baxon, if there is one matchup he loved, he's Falco Dito. And mm. he's really good at it. It's his comfort. His main goal in the his whole career was to go to a tournament where they were one of the biggest Falco, try to make a money match or, you know, just a, 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 a <laughs> proud match, I don't know, and yep. face them. Like, he went to smash Grand Day Reunion back then just to face PPMD in a best of, uh, I think it was best of nine or something like that. Oh, wow. Or FT5 or FT7, I don't remember. Uh, against PPMD, when Zoo came out the same and he just tried to, you know, play against <laughs> all of them. <laughs> That's respect. I love that. That's very cool. Mm. It's very cool. I like having a goal, you know. It's important. Yeah. Uh, the thing is now, uh, so they're gonna, so they're gonna, the next player that's gonna come out is obviously, so not Baxon, but the other one, that's going to be Maillet. Maillet, one of the strongest masks in Europe. Yeah, for sure. One of the guys that will push the strongest. But I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say now because we've got so yeah. many like up and coming, incredibly strong masks. Like jumps to mind being like a red, red blaze and Ekin. Exactly. Uh, but apologies for me, not thinking of someone straight away. Mm. But yeah, nonetheless, for strong, for good. Nonetheless, for sure, one of the one of the best. I mean, as we said, really good against Falco. For instance, he already got a set from West Bull, so he's definitely ready for that matchup. It's not for not. I mean, like throwing up a Maye right now is one of the best choice because it's a three stocks Falco. It will definitely, I think, take the win. Okay, take the W, and afterwards he will be ready with, I think, enough stock to just take care of the next character that will come up on uh, on stage. I would have thought 
um, on top of taking the win, France's mentality here is we don't want just want to beat this person, we want to... I mean, obviously you always think that, but I imagine it'd be more ingrained in the plan that Maye would not lose many stocks. Maybe one... If, if they lost two stocks, I would consider maybe that that wasn't the best outcome for France. Yeah. But um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see for sure, but I, I feel like that, that's definitely the Kunfort pick. Like, yes. No risk taken. Yeah. Yes, this, this is, yeah. Like, Baxon is like the, you know, we're, we're having fun here and we, we think we're going to win, but, <laughs> but Maya's yeah. like, nope, we don't want to take any risks. We just want to ensure victory. No. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like, France is only one stock above, which is nothing. Mm. True. Okay, we'll see. Okay, oh. off smash, ready for it. A bit too late there, unfortunately. So we'll see, but actually, we don't know, but maybe Alan is really good against uh, against Marv. Very possible. That is one of the advantages of, like, your players not being as well known. It's harder to, like, research them. Exactly. But still find the first edge guard, though. And, uh, like, this is this is a good pace. This is good pace for Moye if he's hoping to, like, not lose a stock. Then only being at 50% with a combo starting on the next arc. And we're not we're not seeing the sort of slide off that that you need in this day of age from the, from a. From but a, the, the thing is, like, it, it's so good that just like switching up his up tilt. You know, you never you never know where he's gonna face when he's gonna do the up tilt. So the, the GI is just completely mixed up when you when you want to see that when you need to, to sleep off. So I feel like it's really hard to get down on the platform when Mei is doing those things. Oh, I like the way. Like, he knew, Maya knew there was just some option about to be spammed in his face. <laughs> like, oh, he's got up, he's got up red buttons. Mm. Hopla! And as we said, all of those lasers, really good at those poor shield stuff. So it's always ready to just, like, throw them back at the Falco for sure. Yeah. I didn't realize how patient of a player the Maya was. The, the game plan of Maya, it's just like, it... it, it, it you can't put it in one sentence. Hit second. Like being the second to hit. So it's super slippery as a Marv. It's super hard to reach, super hard to, to touch. It's always be waiting for you to make a to make a move and then do the punish on you. Yeah. I think yeah, and I, I think Marv really benefits from that point, sir. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. With the character with probably the best like whiff punish game. As he's so quick, and he's so good at just evading. Mm. I like he's really good at. Oh, sorry, you. I was just, I just wanted to put out the fact that when, as soon as Falco is in close combat, he's already ready to put the the light shield, which is really good because light shield yeah. allow you to get more shield push, so he's avoiding a lot of pressure, which makes him once again even more slippery. Exactly, especially at those high percents where it's like you just need to get hit by some randy move and you're gone. Exactly. Ooh, good power oh, oh, off stage, jab. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's that's pretty much exactly what France wanted. Well, you know, yeah. like lose a stock, okay, but solidly take take the rest. And just lose. Yeah, it. exactly. And as we said, now the thing is like, who do you want to send to counter pick Maye? Yep. Not many players can do that. Team, like, I, like maybe Ravio with the Falcon. Maybe I have you with Falcon actually. That could be that could be a yeah. solution for sure. I'm yeah. uh, I'm, uh, I'm But I don't think I don't think uh, Mar Falcon is one of those weird matchups where it feels who I guess whoever's I, I I don't really know how to describe it or like but it just seems that some either some Mar players get it or they don't. Yeah, that's true. That's actually very true. Yeah, and I wonder how well Maya would do against Falcon typically. Because I would have thought that that playstyle of that you were saying about you know be the second to hit, that doesn't sound right versus Falcon. Of his spaces, I think that's a really good playstyle. But Falcon, I think he has just like really big hitboxes, and he can run at you and just sort of he has like a moth kind of dash dance, and he just has a lot of things that he can pressure from a distance. Unlike the spaces where they do have to get more in your face. But he got, he, got a, he got some history where he got come back or got some strong losses against Falcon for sure. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something that is very true on uh, on what you said because definitely uh, y y you can see in his results that 
that that happened actually that yeah. happened yeah. so it's it can definitely happen again uh we'll see though because the thing is like even if what you're saying is is right it's very true the thing is like you need to be ready also as a falcon to overcome the 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 Maya's morph literally yes. yes this isn't this isn't like oh Maya does this thing wrong, therefore any Falcon will beat him. Like, that's obviously not the case. Maya is still an incredibly good player. Exactly. You can't just be like, this character will win and throw them in. They've got mm -hmm. to still be up to the challenge, so to speak. Exactly. But I'm looking forward to see. And as you said, actually, they picked up Ravio. So Ravio will be the next Swiss player to come up on stage. So that might be done. Maybe something that is doable. Uh, the good thing for Ravio, though, is that I know he talked a bit. Uh, I, I don't know if he's still in touch, though. But I know they talked a lot with Jagoff. Jagoff, which was a, one of the, of the French Falcon, which actually Maillet sometimes struggle with, struggle against. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Ravio, uh, maybe Jagoff gave some advice to Ravio. We don't know. Possible? A traitory! <laughs> Do you know why uh, Jagov isn't here actually? He participate. He's not making any, any competition right now. He, he does not have okay. any time to pull into the game. He makes some games here and there, but uh, he don't, doesn't okay. have any time anymore. Yeah, that was something when I initially looked through the crew of French players. I was like, oh, it looks like everyone's back. And then I was like, oh, wait, but there's no Jagov. <laughs> but yeah. Yep. And Fort. But we'll see. So both of them are ready. We're going on to a uh, battlefield. Three stocks to four on the game. Eight stocks to 11 in totals. Let's see what's going to happen. We'll see. Yeah. If, if, I think this... Uh, I was going to say, I think uh, taking one stock off my may actually have proved quite crucial. Oh, me. I... Actually, it is. Actually, it is. As it counts yeah. for the stacks from Jared and the one from May, it counts a lot. Yep. And uh, actually, Ravio is making a great job right now. You get caught by many tiny stuff, and friendly. That's the thing that will never work against May, for instance. The surprise side B, it won't. It yes. will just dash back, and it will avoid it. Yep. As you're saying, if May wants to hit you second, then <laughs> he's waiting for a move like this to come out. Exactly. I think. Uh, Ravio will probably find the most success from overshoots. Mm. As it did actually on the previous uh, uh, mm. previous exchange on the, of the game. Yeah. Okay, good wait, good wait, good flay, he flayed to, flay to the lap. Uh, Bref, you understand, you just go on the top platform in a really nicely way. I like how um, how he connected that back air as well. Like that only worked because he chose not to fast forward it. And Maya just dashed us one more time because he had that extra because he had the extra time because of the, the uh, slow fall. Okay, now it worked actually. Coming up off the off a tech chase, if Maya wants to make another grab, you can actually punish him with that side. Be interesting once again. Somehow, somehow, <laughs> Ravio is finding those. Yeah. Oof. But Maya is really good at finding those punish also and just like yeah. converting in, into a stack. That's one thing also that is really good with Maya. It is his punish game. Yes. I also think like the way he can kind of weave in and out of his opponents at that close range. Like that's I'm used to seeing Marth that can you know have very good spacing and can evade really well, running back and forth away from the opponent. But Mai seems particularly good at kind of being all up close in their space and still winning the exchanges out of it, which is hard for Marth. Marth is better that's at it just kind of close. Oh, those double shield stab, man! So yeah. well aimed. Another thing. <laughs> He's seeing those those uh, those things. And all of those poor shield also. Yeah. Uh -oh. it's, it's a good thing to see. It's um like the power shield is obviously good because you can like you know react out of it faster. But it's also good to know that the players are they're shielding at the last possible moment they can to ensure they're as actionable as long as they can be. Hmm. Okay, nice crouch cancel though. A bit sad for the SD from uh, from Maye for sure. Uh, not sure if it will matter or not, because I feel like that stock is definitely one of the most important ones. If Ravio can take it, he can maybe turn something up, but if Maya takes it, I think it's, it will be over for Switzerland. Chase. Oh, no. the stake chase! Oh. Oh, let him go! Okay. <laughs> I think it's only, it only dealt 37%, like, it's not that much, all of those grabs. Yeah, yeah, Marth's grab doesn't like, the throwing doesn't actually do too much damage, unlike Sheik's. Yeah. 
Okay. Ooh. Good call though, being a troll. Too bad it was a bit too close. This is important. This is a free counter pick. Whichever player takes this. Ah, oh, that's it. Should be it, yeah. yeah. Uh, as soon as double jump into the, the fair, that was it. That was it. Okay, so May is still in for now. Uh, Switzerland with. Strong. That was the thing that I think I noticed about that. Whereas, like, we did kind of see examples of maybe Maya's game plan of hitting second kind of being a detriment, but once he got his punish going, it was always very strong. Yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah. Very good, though. Very good set. I think uh, Ravio shouldn't be... Uh, sorry, Ravio shouldn't be disappointed in that. I agree. I feel like there was still great showing, and I feel... As we said earlier, you know, like, sometimes you are not... Like, best of one, sometimes... Uh, will definitely help people with confidence in their playstyle and really good player. Because like if you're confident in your playstyle, you'll be ready to just like win those exchanges. You know, you, you, in best of one, you don't have time to be afraid about anything that will happen uh, in those exchanges. And I feel like Javio is just you know first time facing Maye. The pressure was here, and I feel was a bit afraid on some tiny exchange that will de that definitely cost him the the cost him the stocks basically, and cost him the cost him the double. You were saying like double jumping into that forward air. That tends to be an option you do when you're like, ah, I just want to escape, and then yeah, you get punished. But uh, but I feel like in best of three or maybe best of five, you know, uh, Javier could have take a lot of games from Maya, I think. Yes, it could have, it could have been better. But we'll see. So, so Nero is back actually. Nero is back onto uh, the game. He was uh, normally the one that was about to play against Seer, but he will be the first player to go up. Yep. Yep. This is gonna be this is gonna be challenging. Yeah. Whilst as whilst we've you, we've seen like. Uh, obviously, Maya's come out and Charles come out. There's, France still have, have a lot of amazing players left on their team. That's true. That's true. That we, in, in a, like a one-on-one, -on -one, we would not expect Nero to beat in tournament. Mm. My mind we, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like after Maya, we got like two players left. Most of it. So I feel like Nero is going to be... I mean, he's trapped. <laughs> he's trapped. <laughs> Yep. But okay, we'll see what's gonna happen. Yoshi story really close, uh, close stage though. Uh, Nero, if he w if he wants to make that comeback, which is something possible, oh. he needs to hold down on his stock. And right now, Mei is like, no, mate, I'm gonna take all of those four. Yeah. And going back to how we talked about uh, Mei style, Ooh. if someone really wants to make a comeback, they're probably going to be trying to hit first. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, sad. That's, that's sad. That's sad. Yeah, it's sad, but it gives a bit of a bit of hope for for Nero. That's true. I don't that's know how true. much, but it's meaningful. One less Mayo stock is a good thing. Mm. But I felt like it was uh, it was um, like the GI he did on the downer to to survive. Actually, the downer from Mayo was insane. Yes, that was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Like May was really just like killing with a daughter, take the first stock and uh, and uh, still dig up the the, the stock differences, mm. but uh, that inward di to just survive and go onto the platform was insane yeah. by uh, by Nero. Good recognition, especially as if May went for a forward air, that would have been combo di, <laughs> and he probably would have got F smash after for it. Very true. That's very true. Good recognition of the position he was in. Mm. And it gave him the gave him the star. He let him keep all the stocks. So yeah, very handy. But also, we'll see. We'll see who friends gonna send up as uh, their uh, not last player actually, but the next player. But there's still one left afterwards. Uh, I'm really looking you forward expect? to know. Mm. Um, I'm mm -hmm. oh, sorry. No, you were you were you were about to say. I I would like to see because I think there's there's enough players here that they could for their first player send in like almost anybody. Pretty confidently, but I'd like to see some of Baxon because we haven't seen, haven't seen some Baxon. Yeah, I would love to see some Baxons too. Yeah. Let's be honest, I would love to see some Baxons. Yes, and I and it definitely isn't like a bad choice. It's not like we want it because it's fun. It's like, oh no, this is actually a good choice as well. Baxon is a very good, strong, very strong player. It is for sure. Yeah, and at worst case, he's setting up the last player. <laughs> In worst case, that, that's yeah. the moment. For Baxon. 
Actually, that's the moment where Baxon can shine the most because he knows he got a backup afterwards. Yeah. There's no real pressure. He can exactly. play his like kind of more wacky, more aggro style with confidence that if he does something stupid and he loses a stock, it's not actually going to cost the team. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, he, he can be ready for it. But um, maybe he's not ready. Maybe he's not there because I've seen that on the on the BDS Smash 4 uh, later on. There oh, yeah. weren't all of them. And that's why yeah, yeah, I think he's not here. In any case, they're not selling Baxon. They're sending another Falco player. <laughs> they're sending Silo. Silo. I see. Another player from... <laughs> he's another player from the Maye uh, region. Oh, yeah. And he's a really good Falco. Way more patient. Way better against uh, Flotis, for instance. Okay. It's definitely on the rising. Unfortunately, he didn't make a lot of great showcase in uh, in Europe when he traveled. Mm. Uh, but he's a strong and solid player. I'm definitely looking forward to see what he will be will be about to uh, to do. And I'm glad he will be showcasing uh, his gameplay right now. Yeah. Interesting that they'd send someone in who's shown they're good against the floaties, but they're actually going in at seemingly quite an aggressive fox. But I think he's, he's also confident against spaces for sure. I yeah. think it sounds like if you live in France, you have to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is your life. That is your your blood. That is your food. Is foxes spaces? Yeah, but but I feel like now now there's many. I'm, I mean, now all of countries have a, have a lot of spaces also. Like when you see the German spaces, for instance, I'm like, ooh, we don't have those in France. We don't have those. <laughs> we don't have those. Yeah, the German spaces are something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are. Okay. They are for sure. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Waiting for a counterpick. Ah, Silo coming in. Ready? Yeah. I want to. I, I feel like. If, if Baxon just straight up isn't here, and so Seer doesn't seem to be able to play, at least not right now. If yeah, not, maybe I'll come, I'm curious what will happen next. That's actually a good question. I, I know Tech is available, so maybe they can send Tech. But uh, the thing is, like, you don't want to send Tech against uh, against the Fox, or it will not pick buff, which is a possibility from Tech. Interesting. Is is tech his his fox mashup not his? It just it's just tough, you know. It's just tough. Like fox buff is just tough. He, he will play it in tournament for sure, but maybe he does not want to. Okay, that's fair. That is undeniably true. That it's a very hard matchup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so both of them. Seems to be ready. The button check has been done. Let's hope uh, everything right. will run well because we know uh, Nero uh, earlier needed to stop against Seer because it was not really uh, playable. It seems it is. Both players agreed on that. So okay. there we go. Can Nero make the comeback from sweet for Switzerland? It's, it's, a, it's still a mountain to climb. There's no doubting it that he's got he's got a long way to go. And I think his performance versus uh, his performance versus side is obviously going to make like every stock counts. This was his performance matters. Yeah. And we already see the fact that Psylo is, is a really defensive uh, uh, Falco. A lot of laser have been shot. A lot of tiny, you know, move like that, not leading to any combo because he goes for another uh, uh, um, uh, uh, a cross up afterwards. Making patience move like that at 14, you know, just push off stage his opponent. It's ready for those. I just thought it looked intentional. <laughs> Actually, it did, right? <laughs> I think it was. Because he edge cancelled it as well, and then immediately. Uh, yeah, right? Crouch cancelled I, I, his get up, and then S crushed him. I definitely, uh, I definitely agree with that. Like, he was ready for the for what happened after the side B, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have been uh, intentional. I do like an intentional side B. I'm a big fan. Okay, Brian and Nero seems to be a bit lost, uh, unfortunately, against that uh, defensive Falco. That's the thing. When you're not ready against defensive Falco, it's one of the toughest matchups to deal with, I feel. Uh, and I think on top of that, when you're expected to make a comeback, you're kind of halting their momentum as well. Yeah, true. 
So I think I actually in, in with in retrospect, I do think that was actually a good pick to sort of slow the pace down to stop uh, to stop Nero from doing anything too crazy. Very true. Okay. Ooh. Taking his time, but Nero moved around. All of these of the moves of uh, Psylo yes. really nicely, also. Yeah, the spacing's been really nice. No, but not enough. It does. It seems like he's been spacing things well, but not necessarily capitalizing off his good spacing. Mm. Okay, nice up tilt, nice up air. Nero's not over yet, but that turn of the shield will lead to maybe okay. some. Oh. I would argue that was unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> This one Call might not crazy. be intentional. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It definitely led uh, Nero to uh, to uh, more more uh, more ways to maybe make the comeback happen. Yes, that's true. That's true. I'm, 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 this is like a like a, I guess a quite a Falco thing, but I really find the the way Silo has been losing using his lasers, he's always been shooting them a bit high and sometimes missing Fox, which makes me think that his style is normally to catch out jumps with the higher laser. Yeah, it can be. And now that we're seeing the lower one, sometimes like I think there was like an instance where he where uh, Nero got a stock literally because he just ran under a laser. Hmm. Okay. Find the grab, can he take the stocks? Not yet. Actually, yeah. Nero is taking on, on that one. 152, that's very good. Take another stock from Silo. At any point in time, can find a grab, a shine maybe, you know, and we're back on yeah. the last French player. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Mm, less terrible now, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's four shields. Yeah. That's a... it, it, it's interesting how I, I'm... I think Silo... I can see him being really good. But whether it's nerves or whatever it may be, he's not been acting very well off getting knockdowns. I'm, I'm sure Falco struggles with that because he doesn't quite have the speed to just chase them like other characters. Very true. But he's been setting them up and not really capitalizing. Okay, get back to the center. Nero is good at just moving around the Falco also. Yeah. Oh, once again. Crouch can set forward smash, found the back air. Will he manage to take the stocks? Not quite yet. Nice angle. Good way by Nero, unfortunately. Did not right. react in time. And no. just Silo finished him off with another dare. And there we go. Another dare, Three, yeah. Five start against Switzerland. Good, good. I mean, he covered the jump. He did what he needed to do. That was, yeah, that was a good set. I like that one actually. I felt like there was a lot of like there's a lot of interactions where I was watching it and I was like, oh, I can see both areas where players are making really good decisions, but maybe not pushing as much as they should, mm. and they weren't capital capitalizing as hard as they could be. But ultimately, we're still making like interesting, engaging, you know, good play. Yeah, I agree. And once again, I, I feel like, as I said against Ravio with Maillet, I feel like if that match was a best of three or best of five, mm -hmm. Switzerland, um, and Nero could definitely could have taken it for sure. sure. And this is the thing that is really interesting. Okay, France won. Obviously, I'm happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that aside, I feel like all of the newest players on Switzerland definitely showcase a really great level of play on that specific crew battle. Yeah. And as I'm, as I'm excited for, for Portugal, I'm also now super excited to all the players from Switzerland that we've seen because I do think they will make a great showcase in bracket tomorrow. For the same way. I think that was very cool. Um... Mm. That was amazing. Excited to see more. And I think that was, it almost felt, it did feel doable. Like, granted, the stock difference was quite large, but it did seem to come down to, like, if if each player showed they could perform a little better or just clutch one of those stocks that they didn't, then it could have mm. been way closer. And especially with, um, granted, I'm not, like, I'm not saying anything was anyone's fault, but, like, we would have liked to have seen Yaraiden get to push a bit harder, like damage yeah. the team a bit more, which was definitely possible. Um, but yeah, so it was was good to watch. Yeah, but I mean, five stack, not that much. It's definitely not that much. So yeah, great. Good job. Good job, Switzerland. Shaking your head from far away because you know quarantine, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. GG, friends. Merci, les gars. Bien joué. Oh. And now I think uh, we can say... <laughs> <You're so laughs> <down. laughs> we can say bye because I think Anevan and I will uh, quit up the mic for the next two, two sets. It was a pleasure, Anevan. Oh, Thank you. Always a pleasure.
<laughs> always a pleasure thank you so much for commenting with me thank you thank you mate and i guess now we're gonna just like send it to our wonderful host from scotland shizzy please take it away please go ahead thank you thank you big son and honestly it's so sad to see you you and unhaven going off the mic i'm so impressed actually that you managed to say so so unbiased during that last set because i thought it was going to be all for france but um it was an amazing set and probably the best one we've had so far uh, we have two sets left for you tonight, guys. Uh, some really exciting ones. We've got Sweden versus Ireland after the break. And then we're going to finish it up with English versus, uh, England versus Finland, which is going to be excellent. So we'll catch you guys soon. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yeah, hello everyone. This is Korn. Korn's Academy is partnered with the same circuit. And for every circuit event, we'll be offering one-to-one -one coaching services as prizes. 